Hi guys, I'm Kyle. I'm here with Will, and today we're gonna to be talking about uh, full spectrum versus blue spectrum lighting. So we're gonna dive right into it. I wanna just ask Will first, what is the definition of both? Right, I think a good example is kind of uh, lights that offer the two different options, you know, like a radiant with the pro and the blue. Uh, one is gonna have a lot more of the, the blue LEDs or the, the full blue spectrum into it, and it's gonna look visibly blue. Uh, whereas a, a full spectrum light or a natural light is going to look more like the ocean, more like this tank behind us here. That I'm, that's basically the gist of it. I think that's a good good starting point. Um, we're gonna just kind of talk about pros and cons of both um, in this episode. And I think I wanna start off with, let's just talk full spectrum. So right. where you talked about pro versus blue, especially with the radions, um, but any light on the market, most of them are able to do both pretty well. Um, most of them lean a little, a little bit heavier on the blue side, which isn't necessarily bad. Uh, full spectrum is going to bring out or historically has been thought to bring out better coral growth overall if you're doing a full spectrum light if you go all the way back to like those t5 and metal halide days yeah. people would run like a 10k metal halide because they want better growth but they're not going to get great coloration because fluorescence doesn't really peak until you're way in that blue spectrum violet spectrum yep i think that's the main difference right is yep. the is the uh the full spectrum ones people claim that they grow more coral um and the blue ones they claim that they bring out the color more but it comes down to, uh, for me, it comes down a lot to personal choice. Uh, this tank behind us runs the full spectrum color and most of the tanks around the office do as well. Yeah. Um, for me, the big pro to the full spectrum, and I'll let you chime in on this too, is that it doesn't flood your room with the blue light. I think that's one of the big downsides for me is I don't like living in blue light all the time and most of the time you have it in your living room. So the full spectrum really kind of wins out in that regard for me. I agree. Um, so I'm also a full spectrum fan personally. Um, you can always get the fluorescent pop at the end of the day, beginning of the day, um, or depending on the light, you could even just hit a button and go full blue if you want to just right. enjoy the tank, look at all the really popping colors, all those really fluorescent greens, oranges, stuff like that. Um, but full spectrum light is where I think it's at. Similar reason my tank at home is in a living room. I don't want to ha be watching TV and have like a blue light, especially at the end of the day when it's dark out. Right. <laughs> and that's the only light I got going on. I don't like just living in a blue room personally. Yep. Also, I think my neighbors probably think it's weird looking through my windows and everything's just blue. Definitely. <laughs> uh, but full spectrum is where I think it's at. Um, I think it gives your tank a more natural look. Uh, corals, generally speaking, especially if you're doing acros, grow in an environment where the water is relatively shallow. Yes, water filters out other spectrums of light. Um, faster than blue light and violet light, but the shallow water corals are still in like a relatively full spectrum look. Right. If you go to the ocean, you're um, really pretty tenuous. You don't see any of the really pretty colors in the coral lights. You're seeing a green fluffy stick. Right, actually. exactly. <laughs> um, so full spectrum is gonna get you that really natural look. I personally prefer that. Yeah, and definitely it reminds you more of the ocean. Uh, if you've ever gone snorkeling or scuba diving, it's going to give you the, the, you know, the nostalgia, the memory of that more so than maybe blue tank. But there are pros to the blue side, right? Yes. Um, one of the big ones for me is the coral colors. Uh, I love taking pictures and video of my coral. And if they're under that deep blue light uh, with like an orange gel filter or something like that, yeah. the color just is way more uh, popping than the, than the full spectrum light. It looks like fireworks all over, especially if you're like getting those really good macro shots on yeah. some of those Acropora or born on nuance like chalices and stuff like that. You get so many different colors when you get the blue light popping. Right. All the fluorescence is starting to show. You see things that you probably haven't seen when you're looking at it during the day, which I think is really cool. Um, so if you're someone that fries corals, sells corals, blue is where it's all at because that's going to give you the best coloration pop on all your corals. Right. I think it's really cool. It's exactly what I want to see when I go to like a place like Worldwide Corals, uh, Top Shelf, any of the big stores with any of the cool display tanks. I want to see that deep blue neon tank with the, the corals that you can't even imagine really. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Um, and the other perk is, especially if you have deeper water corals, um, the blue light is actually what they're getting. They're not getting any of the red, green, not much yellow, right. orange or red or anything like that. So. Deeper water corals, um, I'm thinking things like typically frog spawns, gonies, um, encrusting chalices, um, some of that deeper water stuff. Yep. The blue light is what they naturally get, so their their cells are, um, specifically I should say, is geared to photosynthesize at those wavelengths. Absolutely. So you are gonna get a, like really good growth um, catered to those specifically. Um, not saying that full spectrum is bad in that case, but you're gonna really hit the peaks where you really need to for optimal growth and health and photosynthesis in the coral, getting it energy, right. um, which I think is a really good thing. Yeah, um, 
I would say that the the chalices and stuff like blastos as well, those you can really, really tell uh, the difference when you put them under a blue light, uh, give them a few months under a, a blue light. They don't need a lot of par. What they do want is that UV and that blue light. And so when you give them that, they really pop in color way more than than on a full spectrum. So those those crazy chalices, maybe the rainbow chalices you see online and stuff, those are real. Yeah, those are the real colors. You need to put them under the deepest blue you can imagine, and they will start to pop like that. Oh, as it all blurs together. Um, so when you're running with your tanks at home, uh, are you running full spectrum then? So yeah, so I run uh, mainly a selfie tank at home, and so I'm going to run basically white light. It's actually almost like daylight, um, and that's mainly for my Fiji yellow leathers and stuff like that. Uh, they're going to uh, the yellow color is actually going to show versus under blue light they they won't show at all. But that's uh, actually yeah. funny because my Fiji yellow leather currently is under heavy blue light. It's turning green. Yes, it's no longer it's no longer yellow leather. Yep. So that's what I had to had with mine. Mine turned green, and so I wanted it to go back to yellow, and so I put it under you know the full white light. Um, like a freshwater light basically <laughs> and and it's now doing great and turning yellow but in some acro tanks or tanks in the office here uh, we run closer like a more blue spectrum but nothing quite like that you know royal blue that you might see out of uh you know a fish store or something like that yeah not until the end of the day that's that's sunset right exactly that's the sunset perfect do you have anything else to add to full spectrum versus blue spectrum today i don't think so i think we nailed it i think that's all see you next time <laughs>